The basic setup is you have two brothers. One is an MMA fighter who recently got his arse handed to him. He's the protagonist, Tomek Barkwak. His brother, who is a successful club owner, ends up in an accident. He is dead. Tomek inherits the club and at first is down with just selling it and moving on. However, as the story unfolds, he starts to get the impression that his brother's death may have not been an accident. How does this 2021 MMA fighter slash discotheque owner film hold up? That's from Poland. And what life lesson can we learn from this one? Let's find out. It was at about 20 minutes because I checked before I really like there was a click. I was like, oh, I see what's going on. Because prior to then in this movie, I was like, huh? What's happening? They were introducing a bunch of people and it's as if I was kind of entering in this. So what, who is this to this guy? Who are this? Do they know each other? Did they know each other before? So it was about 28 minutes before that all clicked. I thought, you know, don't be too picky here, Gringo, because this movie is clearly not doing the 11 minute rule that a lot of Hollywood movies do. Basically, the 11 minute Hollywood rule is saying within the first 11 minutes of a movie, the viewer needs to know what's happening, what's the setup, and what the movie's generally about. If you're expecting a equalizer, revenge type movie, it does have some of those aspects, but it's not really that fast paced. You're gonna get some fighting. These guys clearly are trained MMA fighters from what I can tell. They'll do some stand-up fighting, maybe some heavy sparring, kind of MMA style kickboxing type stuff, followed by some grappling, maybe enough grappling to escape and to fight a little bit longer, and then they'll finish off with a rear naked choke or some pounding ground. The mystery, it's not so much of a mystery after 30 minutes. You kind of know what's going on, and it's the matter of watching him go through the steps to investigate or get to the bottom of it all. We do, however, get a peek at how post-USSR mafia in Poland works. And that's interesting. We need your signature here. Mm -hmm. Something wrong. What is this? What are you doing? Tomek is at the point of signing these papers to sell his club, but things are just going too easy and weird. And he's like, you know what? I ain't going to do this. I'm going to pause. And that's the life lesson in this one. This is a 12 step thing as well, which is pause when agitated or doubtful. It's a very helpful tool that can help you to know when things are getting too crazy and things are just seem pressured and you're feeling impulsive. So it's important not to give them to those impulsive behaviors too much because I think that causes addictions. It's time to pause and think about it. And that's why this AA Big Book, Pause When Agitated or Doubtful, is a great tool to use. As we go through the day, we pause when agitated or doubtful, and we ask for the right thought or action. We constantly remind ourselves we are no longer running the show, humbly saying to ourselves many times each day, Thy will be done. Thy will be done, meaning the higher power of your choice, giving it away to something else so you're not trying to run the show. Trying to run the show makes one incredibly impulsive, stressful, and seek addiction to escape from all this. And that's what I learned from this movie. In summary, Barn to Rock is a slow burn movie. Don't expect to be going super fast. It's got some cool fighting. The fighting seems more realistic in my opinion. And it does have some interesting view of the world and the Polish world of things. You should not take this movie too seriously though. Like I said, there's some real satisfying fights in this one. And that's worth a watch. That's why I'm giving Bartowak a 2021 Netflix original movie, a 6 out of 10. 6 out of 10. But hey guys, you don't have to stop here. You can check out some other movies right here or right here. Get some life lessons in them.